So this is the walk around of the 1987 Volkswagen Quantum that I recently picked up. Uh, you'll see it's got uh, plenty of things that have to be dealt with, things that aren't original. The louvers have to come off the back. Uh, there's that piece of uh, reflective tape there. The rims are not original. Uh, they're reproduction BBS rims. Uh, the tires that come with it are very uh, uh, sporty kind of tires. Uh, not something that was originally intended for this car. You'll see that there is uh, some rust issues that are going to have to be dealt with. Some of them are uh, more important than others. Uh, lower corners of the doors, which are fairly common uh, for Volkswagens of this era. Uh, you can see here, got a little bent in the door. So, the Quantum originally came out around the 1982 and uh, was originally available in uh, three different versions. You had a uh, coupe, you had the uh, four-door sedan, and you had a wagon. Um, three different engines uh, became available for this. Uh, there was a diesel engine uh, that was mostly... Uh, or excuse me, you had the diesel engine, you had a... Uh, uh, you had a four-cylinder gas and a five-cylinder gas. There was also a synchro version, uh, which is four-wheel drive, and that mostly came out on the wagons. Um, this guy here is, is the, uh, the type that I particularly like. This is the, uh, this is the sedan. It's the five-cylinder gas version. The coupe was only available for a couple of years. Uh, the, the Quantum was much heavier uh, than the other uh, offerings that had four cylinders from Volkswagen. Uh, so while the sedan, or excuse me, while the um, coupe looked like it was uh, kind of quick, it only came with a four cylinder. And again, because of that extra weight, it didn't do as well uh, with the uh, uh, GTI and the Scirocco in the lineup at the time. Um, so this guy here is the five cylinder. Uh, we'll give you a quick look uh, at some of the things that are going to have to be done major and minor. So obviously we've got some small things like the grill here up front. You can see this was actually cut out by somebody. They didn't do a horrible job with it. Uh, but they added in these extra lights which did uh, run directly off the battery in the car. So I'm not a big fan of uh, adding in those extra things. A couple of dings in the doors here, as you can see, and then a uh, major problem on that door in the corner. And this over here, you can see there's some hiding underneath that, uh, that piece of trim work. The major part of the rust that's going to have to be dealt with is here in the trunk. And it's right over here in the corner. You can see where it's rotted out as part of the wheel well and a portion of the shock tower right there. So that's probably about a five by five section right there that's gonna have to be cut out uh, and, and reinforced. Um, and these, of course, are gonna be uh, uh, their own uh, little headaches. Uh, I have a friend who used to run a garage and he's gonna help with that. Um, coming around to the inside, this one had a very typical uh, very typical interior for Volkswagens of the era. Uh, it's one that's very uh, nostalgic for me. Uh, you can see they uh, took the outside body color and carried it to the inside. Uh, you got a lot of uh, blues and grays on the inside with the dashboard and with the seats. The uh, steering wheel is not uh, correct for this one. The, this would have been on the earlier um, uh, 80 to 80, or excuse me, 82 84 to 84 models. Um, this guy here had the, uh, the, what this car should have had would have been a, uh, a black steering wheel, uh, with a four button, uh, horn, uh, kind of like they put on the GTIs at the time. Um, you notice they have the very soft, comfy looking seats, uh, throughout. This should clean up really well. Uh, you can see the dashboard is in reasonably good shape up until we get to this corner over here. Uh, down here there is a, uh hole on the carpet in the front down there which has a hole in the floor underneath it uh, it's not too big but that will also have to be dealt with uh, this also has the uh, five-speed manual transmission of course or excuse me the uh, three-speed uh, 011 um, uh, automatic transmission 
And again, the back seat in pretty good shape. Again, it should clean really well. Uh, we've got a few trim pieces missing. You can see like around the, uh, the uh, door handle there uh, that will have to be sourced. The hood release right on the inside here. The Quantum was uh, originally supposed to be the flagship, and it was, of course, here in the States. Uh, in Europe, it was called the B3 Passat, or excuse me, B2. Uh, the original version of this in the United States was called the Dasher. Uh, that uh, The Dasher was also called the Passat in Europe, uh, and this is the second build of it. Uh, the Quantum, which is, uh, I'm guessing, where the B2 comes from. It was also called Passat in Europe. And um, this eventually became the Passat here in the United States as well. So, got our prop rod up here. Let's see where it's supposed to go. i got to remove that bra off of there as well. There would have been a piece of cardboard, believe it or not, that went right here. You can see the remains of it over here, but there's a second piece that would go here, uh, helping to direct the air through, which you can see is a fairly small uh, radiator. Uh, somebody decided to uh, paint the valve cover. I'm not sure why. Uh, obviously, it's going to need to be taken off there. You can see the, uh, the leaking underneath there. Uh, so we're gonna have to pop the valve cover gasket at some point uh, and at which point we're gonna strip off that orange paint uh, Again returning it to something closer to uh, what it was originally um, I'm gonna pr uh, Presume they used a K&N filter in there for the air filter. We'll have to get inside that uh, as well and we uh, Got the fuel distributor right here, which you can see those are pretty crunchy uh, and they may eventually have to be replaced because those connections are going to get um, untenable and they will start spraying gasoline everywhere, which is always exciting. Um, it does have a uh, CV joint that has to be replaced. Um, transmission fluid right over here, so we're going to have to get into that as well. Uh, the last year of these was uh, that I saw was 1988. We had a Wolfsburg edition, and then I believe in uh, 99 uh, we got the first year of the uh, of the Passat. Um, so that's a quick look at our 87 Quantum. Uh, we'll keep you going with updates as we uh, make progress on it.